take you to KwaZulu Natal for the funeral service of Erlo Stiegen, who passed away at the age of 88. Ndando Mnyandu is standing by. Ndando, good morning. It's a very good morning, but a not so good morning, uh, you know, for a large community of Wasizabandi, people who regarded uh, Reverend Elo Stegen um, as one of their fathers. He's the pioneer of a very thriving mission, one of the biggest, um, you know, in the country and I would uh, say in the African continent. Right now we've seen a number of mourners, you know, um, uh, descending to uh, this uh, auditorium behind me, which sits comfortably around 10,000, you know, guests. And we also have an overflow, you know, that sits around uh, 5,000 people. But here with me is uh, the head of SCOPA, uh, Honorable Mkulego Shengo, who attends uh, this funeral as the spokesperson of um, the national spokesperson of uh, the Inkata Freedom Party. Babu uh, Shengo, thank you very much uh, for your time. Reverend Elo Stegen, uh, a pioneer, you know, and, and a father to many. Uh, your thoughts uh, about his passing? Well, I don't know Ubabu Stegen as a legend. I know him as somebody I interacted with on a number of uh, occasions and enjoyed the candor of his wisdom and the deep-rooted nature of his faith in the cause of service and serving leadership in the name of our Lord. I remember many years ago as a child, my uncle who was addicted to alcohol, was brought to what was said to us then, was taken. So I wondered, where is Malume gone to? And of course, we came to learn that he had come here because there's also rehabilitation services that are provided here as part and parcel of the response to the social ills, including but not limited to the challenges of alcohol confronting society. Later, of course, when one became fully involved and active in the political space, came to understand of the working relationship and friendship between Prince Mangosu Tubtelezi and Reverend Stegen. And therefore, that has brought us together in a number of ways. And therefore, we pay tribute today to Babu Stegen for his service, for his contribution to society, because the work that is done here at Kwasi Zabantu and across the world out of the proceeds um, that t happen here is an indication of that the faith, religion, and the gospel can be used for the greater good, and that it is a collective societal responsibility to develop people and not one that must only be borne by government. And so the revelations that we saw of people development, community development, we saw that the business enterprises which take place here were being invested back um, into the community. You know that uh, Aquili is produced here amongst others, they are producing vegetables and so on uh, for big retail companies amongst others and other foods as well. And so it is really a deep uh, loss uh, that we are experiencing because I was taking dedicated his life to the service um, of the people and I don't think that he earned uh, you know, the kind of appreciation which uh, he deserved because, you know, the danger uh, which confronts society is most, most often than not that proceeds that go to churches don't go to the people. And that is just one other conversation that society needs to have because the basic tenant of the gospel is to help others. And so therefore, if there's any investment in the church, obviously, uh, is an expectation that it's plowed back into society. What is about to therefore exist as an epitome of what it means to do that for Wama Pumolo, Kranskop, Kwasunatal, South Africa, and the world. And I do think that um, moving forward, one of the national orders must be uh, given to Reverend Stegen for his service uh, to the people well outside of politics but making a full impact on the daily lived uh, conditions and realities um, of our people and we appreciate that all he has done and appreciate the friendship that he enjoyed with Prince Mangosu Tubtelezi and I'm sure that it is a happy reunion in heaven of two servants of God who have dedicated their lives to the service of the people. Thank you very much. So, well, that was uh, 
Honorable Mkulego Sengwa speaking um, as the spokesperson of Inkata Freedom Party, touching on many issues and the fact that uh, Reverend Stegan enjoyed a very uh, personal relationship with uh, the late Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. We will keep on updating you of the proceedings of the program and we'll try and speak to as many mourners and as many special guests as possible as the program, you know, unfold. With that, it's back to you in studio.